Hello, St. Bernadette. It's me, Father Jeff, your pastor. And I'm coming to you today in this video to let you know that on the weekend of June the 10th and the 11th, the feast of the holy body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, we will again be allowing all who wish to receive from the cup at communion time. Now there's three things to know uh, as we approach this uh, opportunity. First, the cup is optional. The full presence of Christ is found in either the consecrated bread or the consecrated wine. Receiving either is to receive full communion. So if you don't wish to receive from the cup, you shouldn't feel like you have to. Secondly, if you do decide to receive from the cup, and you're very welcome to do so, only sipping from the cup is allowed for the laity. Intinction, or dipping your host into the cup, is not allowed by church law. And Archbishop Shelton recently reminded all of his pastors of that fact. And thirdly, we will begin here at St. Bernadette on uh, the Feast of the Holy Body and Blood of Christ, offering four cups at communion time. We're gonna do this until I acquire a better sense of what the demand will be for receiving from the cup. So I would suggest, uh, especially in the beginning here, if you know you want to receive from the cup, you may wanna sit more towards the front of the church than the back for a while. Now following uh, this little video, uh, Elizabeth and Todd Offrey have put together a short video that uh, demonstrates uh, especially to children uh, who have not yet had the opportunity to receive from the cup, uh, it demonstrates how to go about it. It's a wonderful little video and only takes a couple minutes. I invite you and everyone to uh, give that a look. You know, as, as always has been the case throughout our history during plagues and pandemics, we were forced to contort our liturgical practices for time and new personal habits uh, developed. As your pastor, I therefore wanna take this opportunity of the reintroduction of the cup on the great feast of the holy body and blood of Christ. I wanna take this opportunity to encourage all of you to return to Holy Communion in either the bread or the wine or both. You know, there is no substitute for the actual digesting of Christ's real presence for our faith lives. Jesus died and rose and created the church so that you could remain one with him by the power of the Holy Spirit through the Holy Communion. So come back to our table now. Come back and feast on the forgiveness of God. We look forward to celebrating with you.